I'm Michael Jai White, and I'm finally here in South Africa. And from the quality of fights I've seen and the talent of the fighters, I'm ready to unearth the best of the best. Who will conquer? Who will rule? Who will become the last fighter standing? Cape Town is known for its laid back and chilled lifestyle, but not so fast. It's anything but chilled when it comes to fighting. Let's take a look at the heavyweight regional preliminaries. My name is Richie van Bergen, and I'm a Muay Thai fighter. People call me the animal. I am predominantly a bodybuilder. What that has taught me is a lot of discipline and focus. Yesterday, the heavyweight regional prelims here from uh, Sunnydale Sports Complex in Cape Town, South Africa. Ayanda Halalusani versus Richard Van Bergen. The winner tonight going through to the uh, finals later on and ultimately up to the big final in Johannesburg later in the year. Right, here we go. Ayanda Halalusani with a fight record of seven fights, five wins. Could it be his sixth tonight? We'll have to wait and see. And he's up against uh, Richard Van Bergen. A fight record of 22 fights, 21 wins. Great record, but of course, hasn't been in the ring for over 10 years. Been doing a lot of personal training. Kind of see that. All right, here we go. Touching gloves, getting ready to go. Richard Van Bergen, Ayanda Halalusani. This is the regional prelims in Cape Town. And uh, Richard well, off to an aggressive early start there. And, uh, yeah, he's kind of taking a few uh, blows to the head, not really covering up. And uh, Ayanda getting in some great punishment to the head there. And down he goes, already showing his intent. That's Ayanda Halalusani. Let's take a look at that again. Here we go, bang, right to the face of Richard. And down he goes. All right, here we go. Richard and Ayanda looking to do battle again. All right, touch of the gloves. And Richard in there showing some early aggression from the center of the ring. And bang, there goes Richard to the face of Ayanda. Ayanda trying to, trying to come back and down with the hip throw from Richard. And 20 seconds now ticking over. 20 seconds to do maximum damage, score points. And Ayanda's got to cover up. He's got to stop those blows from Richard right now, doing a lot of damage. And he's in all kinds of trouble. And the ref kicks in, pulls Richard off. And it looks like, yes, in fact, it is all over. That is a TKO for Richard Van Berg. Let's look at that again. The takedown and the points being scored. Ayanda not successfully covering up. Winner by TKO. Richard Van Berg and the winner of this heavyweight prelim. Two minutes into the fight, heavyweight, you just won. How are you feeling? Well, I was a little bit surprised. I thought he's going to throw a little bit more of a straight punch and not so much overhand. He gave me a bit of a knock in the chin. Well done to him. I think I'm better than him stand up. It's just good in this ground game. I thought I knocked him out, but uh, uh, he still managed to come up back and fight. quite clear that LFS is truly revolutionary with new rules that encourage stand-up fighting and intensifies fights. The LFS rules have been specifically created to result in fast-paced, high-octane fights with lots of knockouts. But in the event of a tie, it comes down to the judge's decision. Mario De Silva explains how it works. If there's no knockout or TKO, technical knockout, it goes to the point system. It's clickers. Now the judges each are equipped with two, one for the red, one for the blue. They assess the points, they come to a score, which is a 10-9 system. And should the points come to a draw, they then have to make a decision on composure of the fight, the style of the fighter, and how he's dominated the whole fight as such in the arena. From there, they establish who the winner is. There are no draws here. That's why there's also a five judge, an odd number. They're the chief judge and four ring judges, four ringside judges. Each technique, each weapon counts one point. We had to do the fair assessment of points because you have, for example, kickboxers, Muay Thai guys, you've got athletes from MMA, and all these guys are mixed together. We didn't want any favoritism on assessing points and scores. So every technique, every weapon, dominance, uh, grappling, takedowns, punches, kicking, knees, all one point, all score one point. From there on, it goes to a point on the clicker. So you could have 36 versus 15, depending on the fighters. That will equal to a 10-9 system. So in uh, the fighting game, the 10 will go to the winner, the 9 will go to the loser as such. All right, here we go, lightweight bout. It's Elaine Kulenfuka from the Congo. They call him the Young Lion. 
Josh Zeus Ignatovich from KZN. He's up against uh, Elaine Kulinfuka from the Congo. Like I said, they call him the Young Lion. He comes from a family of fighters. And he's up against Josh, who trains seven hours a day, six times a week. Here he is, fight record of 22 fights, 17 wins. That is very impressive. And he comes from a structured MMA background. Here we go, Elaine Kulinfuka from the Congo. Uh, a fight record of 16 fights and 10 wins. The Young Lion, Run, run. Will he roared run. today. Let's find out. All right, here we go. Josh, Zeus, Elaine, the young lion. Well, there'll be some roaring today. Sizing each other up. MMA up against freestyle. Boom, that's a nice kick there from Elaine. The young lion already stamping his... Oh, and Josh is right back with a high kick to the face of Elaine, who responds with another low kick, sizing each other up. Who's going to land? Boom, that's a great right cross from Elaine. The young lion getting in there, and Josh responds in kind. And uh, Elaine looking to land something there. Oh, and the, there, goes the, there goes the flying knee up to the body of Josh, who gets under that. Down, takes Elaine down to the canvas. And now, maximum damage being done. But would you believe it, Elaine is right back up. Faster than you can say, fight, Zeus. Guys, <laughs> All right, gentlemen, we got to get this party started. Somebody's got to light a cracker, and bang, there it goes. Elaine looking to land something there. The men kind of uh, wary of each other after that encounter. They've been looking to land that one-two combination. Josh is, uh, he's a little concerned about that. Feeling Elaine out there. The leg coming up from Elaine. He's looking to do some damage, looking to land some. Oh, there we go. Speaking of landing something, spinning heel kick there from Josh, but missing, fortunately. And now Elaine moving in, looking to land something, land a low kick, but Josh countering that and uh, shutting him down, shutting those low kicks down. And some great two, uh, one, two combinations there. All right, there we go. That is the uh, the round, the first round of this lightweight bout between uh, well, the young lion and Zeus. There we go, some action from that round. Uh, Josh taking down Elaine there to the canvas. More action there from the round. All right, here it is, round two of this lightweight bout with uh, Josh Zeus Ignatovich. Uh, from KZN up against Elaine Kulinfuka from uh, the Congo. All right, both men looking more active this round. Some great early punches there from Elaine to the face of Josh. Josh countering nicely. And, uh, oh, you can't do that. Got to be careful of that, Josh. Uh, being warned by the ref. Can't kick someone on the ground with three points of contact. Right, so we're back in it. Josh up against Elaine. And, uh, oh, some great, great work ethic Josh. here from uh, Josh. Looking to take Elaine down. Elaine uh, fighting back, and bang, we're on the canvas again. The 20-second rule kicking in. 20 seconds to do whatever damage, and would you believe it, they're right back on their feet. Okay, here we go. It's uh, Josh looking for that uh, that combination, for that takedown, rather, and Elaine looking to land the one-two combination. You can see Josh is kind of wary of that. He's kind of moving his head out the way, uh, looking to slip away from those punches and trying to find a way in to get Elaine on the canvas. He doesn't want that to happen, but it's happening anyway. And Josh going to work on Elaine right now and doing some damage there on the face of Elaine and uh, looking to execute the... Uh, here we, oh, here we go. There's the armbar, but uh, Elaine's having none of that. And uh, Josh with some more damage there. Going for it again, but Elaine managing to get his way out of that one. And uh, the experience of Josh on the canvas really coming through here. Tight. All right, enough. the ref uh, kicks in there, separates two men. Not much time left in this round, and they're probably going to have to pick up that conversation in the next round as we come to the closing stages. Right. And there it is, the end of round two in this lightweight bout between Zeus and the Young Lion. Not right. All right, here we go. Some uh, action from uh, round two. There it is. That's the game plan of Zeus. More takedowns, please. And a great right cross from Zeus against the Young Lion. Oh. Just getting Fight. some words there from his corner as we prepare for the final round, round three, of this lightweight bout between Josh and Elaine, the young lion. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's back in the action. And uh, Josh looking for the takedown. Elaine looking for that one-two combination. He does not want to be on the ground, and that is exactly where Josh wants Fight. him, Fight. on the ground. Looking for some low shots. They each man, both of the men, very wary of each other. And I think we're going to see something pretty soon as the game plans kick in. Josh, there you go, trying to slip out of the punches of Elaine. Oh, bang, and here we go. It's round number two, but in round number three. And Josh with uh, Elaine on the canvas and the 20-second rule kicking in. And Josh going to work on Elaine. He wants to finish this off. He wants this done. And Elaine really needs to wiggle his way out of this one. Otherwise, the ref's going to have to kick in. He's going to have to step in real soon. And there we go, some relief 
from uh, from the ref for okay. Elaine. Spike. I think in any other situation that would have been it. But here we go. In the closing stages of this bout, Josh still looking for those takedowns right up until the end. Some more action from that round. There you go. Those incredible takedowns from Josh. The winner. There it is, Josh Ignatovich of this lightweight bout. Well, is we respect the decision it was fair, and um, yeah, we going back, we push more, and we come back. What did you bring that your opponent didn't? Um, I brought some mixed martial arts on the mat. Uh, as you can see, it's more dominant sport over just stand up. You know, we bring something that that uh, dominates. I'm Sorge Robler, predominantly from a kickboxing background. Um, I've been doing kickboxing now for 19 years. Uh, when I fight, my name is The Guru. I love using whatever my opponent allows me to use, uh, whether it be nice good old punches, kicks, elbows, knees. We mix them up and we use them as the, as the need be. All right, we got ourselves a heavyweight bout here. Soros Krobola, veteran in martial arts with kickboxing and Muay Thai background. He's also got his own kickboxing gym, The Guru, and been boxing for 19 years. Thierry Makuna, been fighting since he was eight years old, holds the uh, three times heavyweight title in Shotokan and the Congo. This man can fight, which is a good thing. All right, there we have it. He's got the uh, six fights, six wins. That is an impressive victory. No stranger to victory. And he's going to be looking for another one tonight. That you can be sure of. Soros Krovala. Look at that. 38 fights, 23 wins. He looks comfortable in there, which is also a very good thing. All right, touch of the gloves. And Thierry in there straight away, wasting no time. And almost giving Soros no time to actually shake hands. But the Guru very quickly collecting himself and not allowing Thierry an advantage. And go! Go straight for the takedown. And Thierry looking for a quick guillotine finish. He has the grips, and Soros will need to be careful now. Robola managing to pop his head out there. And he's now in an advantage of the uh, side control. We're just waiting for that 20-second uh, timer to start. Any time, Mr. Ref. Okay, so Robola. Oh, he used to take full mount. And he's going to be punishing Thierry now. Krobola, I think, just making sure he keeps the control now uh, until the uh, timer is finished. And Terry, well, he's kind of happy to just let that happen. All right. 20 seconds up, and the ref resetting them. Something seems to be wrong with uh, Krobola. Uh, maybe an injury. Okay. Well, anyway, the fight's uh, going to continue. And a flurry of punches from Terry now, but more oh, none fighting home as Krobola now settles on the ropes and gets both hands on Terry's head for that clinch control. And that'll do it for round number one. Okay, let's uh, have a look more at some of that. The uh, action from the round. Krobola here uh, just scoring points for that onslaught. All right, here we go. Round two. Two men sizing each other. Two big men. Very wary. Oh, there we go. Jerry with those straight punches again. And they don't really seem to be having uh, much effect, but uh, Robola just using those ropes to counter down and throw some shots of his own. Both men uh, with some big punches. Could land, could knock each other out. These are big guys, and uh, really the chance of a knockout is high. And both these guys very aware of that. Uh, Jerry really quick on his feet for that punch, but Robola just countering straight away. And like I said, both men very wary of one of those big shots hitting the mark. Right, here we go. Just 10 seconds left. And uh, the ref, uh, you can see the ref telling the guys to engage. What? That's exactly what they have to do here at LFS. Got to engage within 10 seconds. We want that action, gentlemen. All right, that'll do it for round number two. And that round could have uh, gone either way. Both big guys, both landing some great punches. But uh, yeah, very wary of each other. And you can see uh, neither one wants to go down here tonight. OK. It's the last round. They're straight into it with uh, those massive shots. Oh, there we go. Both men obviously intent on moving to the next stage of the uh, last fight who's standing. Rubble with some really nice low kicks. And uh, Terry not showing the slightest hesitation. Just so focused on getting a knockout here. You can see those kicks are getting Terry's hands down. It's leaving him exposed for some uh, huge shots from the big man himself, from the guru. Terry quick off that back I'm really surprised he hasn't landed more punches with that. And uh, Terry, I think, getting he's getting frustrated with the uh, free kicks that Grubbala is getting in. Just trying to put the pressure back on. Uh, he's using the ropes well to come straight back. Uh, Terry seems to be slowing his work rate a bit now. Looking for the right time to counter. Just 10 seconds of the round. Uh, Grubbala throwing some big shots now. More of those uh, kicks uh, in there. And uh, I think the two guys still sizing each other up. Looking for that big blow. 
Yeah, it's not gonna happen tonight. And uh, that's it for both fighters. Uh, I think fairly tired from the Clash of the Titans. Two big men, and uh, we can see here in the replay, those flurries from Terry, uh, not really committed there, and Grubbelar countering uh, brilliantly. The and the decision goes to Grubbelar, going through to the uh, heavyweight finals here in Cape Town. Tough match. I can see the adrenaline is still running in you. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, it was a good match. Firstly, thanks to Terry, and uh, thank you to the Lord God, our Savior, for keeping both of us safe in this bout. Yeah, it was lucky. I had a bit of a niggle with the, with the right knee in the fight, but I seemed to carry it through. The best. I uh, took the fight. And we're in for another early morning fight now with last fighter standing. We got Marcelo Mbabayan up against uh, Cristiano Ndubasi. Uh, Ndubasi got into fighting in to escape a life of gangsterism in Angola at the age of 14, now 28. He's been fighting for more than half his life. Okay, here we go. Mbaban, we see getting into the ring now, uh, teaches boxing to children. Nice guy. Uh, Cristiano there with an impressive record of 30 fights, 24 wins from those. He's going to be fighting out of the red corner with a background in freestyle fighting. And uh, Mbaban with substantially less fights at uh, 18 in total, but with a decent number of wins at 12. All right, these two gentlemen are going to be testing each other's stand-up uh, in this fight. And uh, already both fighters moving nicely. Snappy movements, just not keeping still for their opponent to get a uh, fix on them. You don't really want that. All right, here we go. And oh, Cristiano reading that kick all too easily, but opting not to go for the takedown there. And uh, oh, great, great one-two combo there, great lethal combination. Cristiano moving, oh, finding his mark now. Mabon buckling on his feet a bit there. And Cristiano straight back in to finish it. And Mabon desperately putting his hands up to stop one from landing. And he goes now, oh yeah, and he goes for the takedown now, which will work to avoid those punches. And he's rocked for sure. But Cristiano just sprawling there in, uh, in the perfect position to execute a guillotine now. And uh, instead going for the uh, Darce choke, and Mabon is in serious trouble now. Oh my goodness, oh, but he's, uh, Mabon is saved by the bell. Let's have a look at the uh, replay. Those body shots landing with so much power. Cristiano taking full advantage of him upon uh, being rocked by that uh, earlier right. All right, we go. Round number two, uh, and Cristiano definitely, he's smelling victory, and he wants to finish it. Take it center of the ring. And Mbaban immediately on the back foot, and a big cautious run, rightly so. You can see Cristiano is looking for that opportunity to open up, which he does, and getting uh, both his hands on his head. Wow, he's really looking to do some damage. And Mbaban not keeping his hands up, and you can hear his corner telling him to. He needs to cover up. Cristiano will not give him any room to relax like that. Low kick is testament to it. Mbaban is really feeling those now, which is why he keeps dropping his hands. And there's the one-two combo. And Mbaban is down on the canvas. The ref is stopping it there. And Mbaban is not coming back from that solid right that caught him. There it is. Cristiano looking for that uh, for that the whole fight. Got it in the end. And Mbaban actually holding his head. And uh, the winner by a KO, Cristiano Ndumbasi. What did you say that you brought to the ring that your opponent didn't? Uh, actually, I came prepared. 100% I prepare grand game, I prepare upstanding game. And now for the big match, the final of the heavyweights in Cape Town. Coming up after the break. I'm a whole life long was I'm on the great kant. And as soon as I'm great, I'm always greater than my team. So I was always the heavyweight under the match. Is dominating here, and Terry, he's just a punch bag. Hey, this is heavyweight division, so you know he's where on the kilogram with your rocks on full year. And the guru passing on wisdom here. I've been very fortunate enough to compete um, on a national and international level over the years, from Europe to the Americas. I was out in Asia as well, and it's it's every time it's a humbling experience. The guru is in the house. The education is about to begin. I would say I'm a potential um, LFS uh, champion based on the fact that I'm comfortable um, in any situation. My main technique is I go in, I complete the job, and I get out. Kicking, hitting, elbows, whatever works. It's the animal tapping into his instincts. But one of my fighting secrets is the fact that I use aggression. Since I was young, I was bullied quite a lot. And I decided to hell with this. I'm not going to be bullied. I'm going to fight back. And it's the animal stalking his prey across the ring. Bam, bam. One, two. Can anything stop the animal right now? I haven't fought in 10 years. That is quite some time not to be fighting. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the animal staking his claim. 
I need to know for myself whether I can still fight. Uh, I'm there to prove it to myself. Well, he's going to have to prove it to a very experienced Zoe Skrubala first. Skrubala has the ground. He has the stand-up. But will it be enough against a young bodybuilder? Richard Van Bergen. Five rounds, two minutes each in this regional heavyweight final. This is not the only fight these men have had today. And conditioning is a key ingredient for this fight. All right, here we go. That's Zoe Skrubala stepping into the ring. But right now, Richard the Animal Van Bergen with an almost perfect record there, looking fresh and ready to take on Zoe Skrubala who not only has more fights than Richard, but has won more than Richard has fought in total. Will that be a factor? 38 fights, 23 wins. That is a mighty impressive record, that's for sure. All right, great sportsmanship, and here we go. One of these fighters is securing his ticket to the Joburg Finals within the next 15 minutes. Okay, and here we go. And the ref uh, calling time there. Grabalar has managed to kick Richard in the groin area, which is absolutely against the rules, and he's going to receive a warning for it. Uh, if he continues to do it now, he could be disqualified. I'm sure it was accidental. Okay, Grabalar now abandoning his low kicks uh, for some absolutely brutal one-two combos, and he's really letting that right fly. And Richard doing well to avoid that landing, moving his head and mixing up his distance, throwing some low kicks to Grabalar now, but Grabalar checking them just fine and keeping Richard under pressure here. And uh, he's just itching there. Look at that. He's just got that right going. Boom, boom, boom. Itching to throw it. Hey, buddy. Here we go. Bang. And to the head. I'm Richard Van Bergen. And the animal is right there down to the ground. Bang. Hi, buddy. I'm going to hit you now. <laughs> All right. Just have a look at that again. Bang. There you see that right again. Uh, soars to the uh, head of Richard the animal. And that secures him the win. It secures him a spot. And he goes through to the uh, big finale. So one of the shortest fights we've had today. Very crazy. One knockout. I mean, now you're headed to Johannesburg. How are you feeling? Oh, super excited. You know what? Uh, this is just the beginning. Uh, this is a new start. Well done, Source. He's going to be going to the championship finals in Joburg at the Dome on the 15th of October. Next week, we're going to have three incredible ladies fights. Until then, keep watching, keep tweeting, keep posting. And I'll see you next week at The Last Fighter Standing.